oh hey thanks for stopping by if you've not been here before my name's Gemma and I like to make stuff and I have a little Etsy shop so I'm doing some painting that's what's happening here and it's a painting that I started with um, some friends on a kind of creative crafty call that we had and I just figured I would paint a stag didn't really plan it did it all sort of straight on with paint which is why that left ear is pretty darn huge yeah so um, don't worry I, I sort that out as we go along <laughs> uh, but yeah I just there was no reason for it just really fancied a stag they're just nice aren't they like stags I do actually have um, a, a stag as my Patronus, uh, uh, offic officially, <laughs> oh, that's what the website told me. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm just like Harry, I have a stag as my Patronus. Anyway, uh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> so um, yeah, how have you been? Have you been up to much? Please do let me know in the comments uh, what's going on with you. Um, with me, I don't know, I've just been uh, doing the day job, you know. Um, if, you, if you haven't been here before and you don't know, I'm an art technician during the day. Uh, during the day, well, just, you know, weekdays. <laughs> and uh, then the rest of the time, I'm trying to create my gem in the pen shop at home and also just trying to make to make happy that's my kind of tagline as it were because I just think you should try and be creative as much as possible just for the sake of being creative and of trying to make yourself joyful with it and I have to say I don't paint enough and uh, when I do I always think to myself oh this is so calming and lovely why don't I do it more so I really should do it more because it's nice just if you haven't done it and you've got the opportunity to find some paints and I will say um, you don't have to have expensive paints or anything to make a start the the ones which you can see on the left side of the screen up in the top there the Crawford black ones oh so cheap they are <laughs> um, but they do the job you know quiet I suppose on social media recently and that's mostly down to uh, just not quite knowing what to post not having anything much to say <laughs> I think it's um, difficult sometimes to feel like you are putting out worthwhile content that is worthy of somebody seeing it and that represents you well um, uh, but it goes into a space which it, it's very unlikely to get seen because there's such a wealth of content out there um, that it's quite difficult to for, for your tiny post to to be seen like even sometimes by your own followers uh, due to good old algorithms and things like that um, so yeah, I think sometimes you can put a lot of effort into a post and it doesn't really get seen very much, which is a bit of a shame. And then sometimes you might not put much effort into a post at all and you just whack something out and people seem to see it. And then you think, oh, well like now, does that represent me as well? The one that I rushed and put out uh, just on a whim? I don't know, it's a funny, funny quandary. Anyway, I just kind of think that I'm just going to go along at my own pace. Um, I can only do it part time, so I shouldn't put too much pressure on myself. Um, I, 
I can't do the whole posting every day, doing a reel every five minutes. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm just going to accept what I can do and be grateful for the people who do see anything that I put out and who respond to it in any way. Um, and yeah, try not to feel, feel down about it because it's not worth it, is it? <laughs> it's not worth feeling down about. As a kind of quieter person anyway, social media is a, is a tricky business generally. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to cut myself some slack, I think. So I'm doing a voiceover today because it turns out that I cannot talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> because I need to apparently uh, zone out completely in order to uh, get anything onto the canvas. Yeah. That's something that I learned about myself. I just I can't seem to uh, connect any thought dots, as it were, um, enough while I'm painting. And if I do start talking while I'm painting, then I inevitably stop painting. Because, yeah, my, my brain can't handle it. It's like it's just too much to, to be doing. It can only manage one creative thing at a time. <laughs> um, if I'm now it's different though if I'm painting something and it's just kind of filling in something that I don't need to be thinking about I don't know so if I've kind of blocked everything out already and I'm I'm just yeah filling in the gaps then I could probably talk through that but um this kind of one where I don't have a plan of what I'm doing so I'm just kind of seeing where it goes yeah I can't document that in any way while I'm while I'm doing it it's just it's just too hard <laughs> um, I suppose just quickly to explain what my thoughts were on this was that I kind of got into the vein of thinking that the left hand side of the stag was kind of the moon side uh, so it's got kind of like glowy moon type flowers uh, that was my thinking and then on the right side it's kind of like the sun side so it's got uh, yellowy type flowers and yeah I put some kind of little I don't know what they are they're kind of like little flies or something um, because I'd put stars on the other side like little white dots because I get carried away with my white dots yeah it's just a thing um, and I thought I can't do that on on the sunny side because like that's that's just weird putting stars on the sunny side isn't it I don't know so yeah I did these little kind of like fuzzy things um, which are I managed to do the dots, but I did them in swirly things, so it looks like it's stuff moving around. I, I thought that kind of made sense. But, I mean, I'm not going to be ashamed for all the dots I put on things, because yes, it makes it look busy, but I enjoyed it, you know? So... Never mind. This painting's only for me anyway. It's not going anywhere particular. It ended up, I don't think too bad uh, that yes there's a great big blue bit down his face which um, I did not realize until I moved it into a different light but there we are that's that's where we've ended up with this I quite like him I hope you like him too and anyway thank you so much for watching this video it really does mean a lot that you uh, gave me your time today and uh, if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really does help to support the channel and um, yeah Hopefully I will see you again next time.